Good morning, Bushy Bill. Good morning. <laughs> hey, you guys. Say hi. <laughs> We're in the thrift store. It's so quiet. But we're, I know, but we're, we found like a bunch of Halloween stuff. Look at this. It's code orange at the thrift store. Code orange. We already have a bunch of stuff in our cart, but I got competition. There's other people here. Look, look at these cauldron buckets. They're from 1987. Turn this as old as you. Almost. I got some stuff in here for sale and some stuff um, for um, some DIYs. And then they have a bunch of Christmas. Look at all this stuff. Oh, that's so cute. I love the snowmen. That reminds me of that gathered tradition stuff. Oh, look at all the ribbon. Cool. Oh, look at the pillows. Now, when I buy stockings for Christmas, I buy the embroidered ones because those sell pretty well on eBay. So I look for those, but not the, um, yeah. I found a sign that describes you, how I feel about you. Oh gosh. You are the pumpkin to my spice. Oh my <laughs> gosh, I need it. I love it. Thank you very much. <laughs> What are we going to do with her, huh? Nothing. I think we're going to keep her. No. Oh, thanks. Oh, Monster High. <laughs> they even had a, um, a section out front with some Halloween. Some Halloween stuff. So I was looking at that. But um, we are teaching Aaron's mom... Oh, yeah. how to become a reseller so she's got a she's couple things in here records. to list that we helped ghost her look up of Alfred Hitchcock. that's cool ghost famous ghost stories with scary sounds and they should have the years on there um 1974 for this one wow. I can't tell that. and um and then these cool little happy. Oh, those plates are great. Halloween salad yeah, plates. Just cute little kids. Oh my goodness. And they're all different. I love them. You love them. But look at all the, the buckets and stuff. And this weird thing about this is it's hidden. I didn't know until I was looking at all the nuts and bolts. Oh. Gotta Did you find any good stuff that we can make into something else? Uh, no, but I there's some blinds. But look at it. It's this whole room. Christmas, fall, Halloween. Anything good out here? Oh, do they have a, um, I need a pedestal sink. Any knobs? Any good knobs or anything I can use? Here's your original baby. I know. Look how cool. Two hundred and twenty-five dollars. Oh, that oh, that's my original baby that's carrot. Right here. Man, I, I'm sixty-five, seventy-five. I mean, yeah, that's that's the Cadillac. You got the 
Chevy. Uh, this is older, this much is, older. This is Mark's baby buggy. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh boy. Look, <laughs> She's saying he's a little on the chubby side. Got some nice lamps. Look at these little things. It is old. And this is a real one. This is yes. a toy that we No, the ours is like for a little kid. It's like a reproduction of something like that. That we have in our booth. Wow. It has, it has a secret compartment here for like the moonshine or something. I think this is before moonshine. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, what else did they drink today? No, I'm just saying it's before that era. Anyways, I'm going to go look at the other Halloween stuff up here before we leave again. Because <sighs> no other store we go to has that much out. And I'm like, oh my gosh. It's something different to look at, finally. Got furniture in here. This is um another one of the one that I was just in, but I couldn't play any. Um, oh, that's nice. I couldn't play any, uh, or speak because the music was so loud. Oh, it's broken. More stuff. I wanted this little candle. Their prices aren't terrible. It's a light. Lots of pumpkins. Look at this chunky guy. Wait. Here we go. <laughs> I got a couple of these. These were cool. I loved this, but it's ten seventy five, and this is all chipped. Isn't that cool? I love the ghosts. You need a hat too. And Karen's mom would like that. I got like a toy. 50 Halloween lights. Oh, what's that back there? Oh, it's like painted on. Oh, I like that. It's painted on slate. That's cool. See, I was already over here, but there was other people, so I... Look at this, babe. It's painted on like slate. Oh, wow. It's kind of cute. It's like what you have hanging next to your fridge, that slate thing that okay. that's painted. Look at this guy. It's a speaker or something. I like these little hand towels. It was something up there. Oh, geez. Cute little pumpkin basket with a key cat on it. I liked this. I was showing them. It's already 1075 and this is really chipped there. I'm like, man, if it was more like three dollars I would buy it. Yeah look at some of those Yes, it's so cool. You got a lot of Halloween decorations. But they're not for me. Oh those aren't what for me. Song could it play for Halloween? I don't know. I know. He assumes that that's all mine. Oh, Madonna's starting to play. Well, she's been following us. She has. Madonna's been following me. Everywhere we go.
everybody. So here is what we ended up getting at the thrift store today. Um, I ended up getting mostly just Halloween stuff. I was so excited to see something different in the store. And um, it, the thrift store was rather inexpensive. And we got a lot of things that we um, can either put online or in our live sales that we do here on YouTube. Um, so here's what we got. So this is a 1990s, like a, you would hang this on your front door. You push this button and it makes like a loud noise and he talks to you and says like, enter if you dare. Um, there are a few of these listed online by this toy company. Um, off season, these go for like maybe 10 or $12. In season, they tend to go for a little more, maybe up in the $20 or so range. So um, that's going to be cool. But this is going to be in our live sale because I think I have quite a few Halloween lovers that will appreciate this one. We have a Halloween house painted on slate. Now, it, there's lots of um, different kinds of artists that paint different subject matters, different scenes and things on these pieces of slate. And some of them go pretty high. Uh, there's, there's a particular artist that does like clowns that does really well in the couple hundred dollar range. Now, when I did some research, I got it because most of the time I grab something um, because I, because basically I'm drawn to it. I think it's interesting. I mean, at the end of the day, I do look things up, but if it's cheap enough, I'll take a chance. Um, and this is one of those things where I've, I've not had the best luck selling the slate stuff, but because of the subject matter, I was willing to give it a shot for the price, if that makes sense. So um, when I did look it up, uh, there was only like two Halloween things listed and nothing sold. So I'm going to throw this in our live sale. And like I said, I have a lot of people that come to me for Halloween stuff. So that's, that's where that's going to go. And then I got this Halloween hat, um, like a candle holder. It holds a little tea light. Now, <clears throat> this is more of like a modern collectible. Uh, and I always say like, don't just pass these up. I don't just do vintage and antiques because there's a lot of modern collectibles that maybe I can find at like my Walmart or my CVS or something like that, that you can't find at yours that you're trying to find. Um, like for example, how people go and snatch up all the ghosts at Cracker Barrel, uh, you know, for 60, $70 and they go flip them on eBay for like 300. <laughs> so there's some people that are willing to pay that 300 because they can't get them. Um, maybe they live in the middle of nowhere. Maybe all of them were bought up. Um, who knows? Maybe it was a piece that you wanted from five years ago. Maybe you broke the piece to your collection and you need to find um, a secondhand source to get it. So I always say, like, don't sleep on these things. Um, I, I don't know. That's just my opinion. So, okay, well, I could probably get, uh, let me tell you, um, like in a live sale, I could probably get maybe between $14 and $20 for something like that. This, I'm not quite sure. I'm hoping I can get, you know, 40 or so for that piece, um, especially because uh, the shipping is going to be kind of weird with the shape and the weight and stuff. So, um, and then this piece, I'm hoping to get around $20. Uh, then there's these. These are like um, like a pottery, like a terracotta pumpkin head candle holder. I've not tried anything like them before, but I thought for the price, I would give it a go. Um, I think maybe I can get between, I don't know, maybe $14 and $20 for that set. Now, these are really cool. I've had the coffee mug to the this set. This is Carlton Glass. I've sold the coffee mugs, but I've not sold the uh the jars and I darn sure have not found ever a pair of this stuff and I know it does really well because my coffee mug did okay um I don't know I'm hoping maybe like 40 plus dollars for the pair this is another modern collectible I got to clean this guy up a little bit but he's a glow-in-the-dark skeleton pumpkin pail and maybe I can get He's missing a little something from there. It was probably something to keep this closed because it had candy in it. But I don't know, maybe 15 or so dollars. 
Then we have this lady. She's really cool. Now this mold actually goes back a ways. This mold goes back into probably like the early 70s because um, I've seen it before. This particular one was painted in 1991, um, but I've seen them in, from like the 70s and stuff. Some of the paint jobs aren't very good, but this one was a better one. Uh, this one actually has some like orange film in there and you stick a light. It didn't come with the light kit, but out of season, I'd say you could get maybe 20 bucks, 25 for her. In season, you might be able to go maybe between 35 and 45, I'm hoping. So, um, because I've not had this particular one before, so I don't know exactly what it will do, but we can always hope. <laughs> uh, these are Farber wear. These are an Art Deco uh, glass set. They have, uh, I've seen like the amethyst color. I've seen a clear. I don't often see this ruby red. So amethyst is one that I see the most. Um, they have them in bowls. They have them in vases. They have them in candy dishes. These are just two different size glasses. And you could do like a single glass for like a replacement piece if you wanted. Like, like there's one cordial glass that's listed for like 30 bucks, but there's no solds. It's like mostly amethyst. It's very... I mean, and mostly amethyst is listed. I don't see a lot of ruby, but I'm thinking I can um, just put a couple little tea lights in here and they can be, in essence, like um, little candle holders. So I think that would be good for any kind of like DIY, not DIY, but like home decor type lover that kind of um, repurposes things. That's what I was looking for. Then we got this Anna Lee witch on a broomstick here. Now, Annalise go back uh, quite a while. There's a lot of different ones and they do them for like every thing you can imagine from like, um, like the workplace, like they'll do them like teachers and construction workers to holidays. And, um, they really, they started getting selling really well in like the 1950s. But since then they have like a cult of people that love to buy their, their items. And they're just one of those collectibles that still sells really well to this day. Um, so I usually don't pass up on an Annalie when I find them. And that's probably gonna go in a live sale because I have some collectors. Oh, and then the sheet ghosts. There's so many sheet ghost, ghost collectors out there. I was gonna keep this one for myself, but I think I'm gonna bring it to the live sale because I collect these too. Now this was, a steal at a dollar in my opinion this has a little chip on the bottom but you could put it has that hole so you can put like a probably like a christmas light size little light in there you can poke that in the back but um i love these i'm hoping that does well i might get maybe i might be able to turn this guy into like maybe 15 to 18 dollars so that's not bad for a dollar now if i was at goodwill and they wanted 12.99 for this if I was going to buy it to flip, knowing that I can only get like $8, I wouldn't do it. I mean, that's just too much out to get so little back, in my opinion. So, it's like too little return. But we all, different strokes for different folks. Everyone has a different price point they need to make. Some people will buy anything and be okay with like making a $1.50. I part me particularly, I don't want to flip things that only make like a dollar fifty for my time. So um yeah, if that was at the crazy goodwill prices, same with these, any of this here, that'd be a big no. All right, so these are Union Blow Mold Cauldron Pumpkin Pails from 1987. Union is a really good brand to look for. Um, they especially this cauldron sells much better if it's like the big candy dish, like the big blow mold of the candy bowl. Uh, those in pristine condition could fetch, and some of them have like a cool emblem on the front, like a orange witch and stuff like that. They can fetch almost a hundred dollars. Uh, the pumpkin pails, I'd say out of season, like say you're buying it during the summer or something like that. Um, you can get maybe 14 to $15 for this one. Now there's, they make witches and, you know, Frankenstein and mummies and things like that. And then maybe in season, I'd say closer to the $20 range, especially for the 80s ones. Um, 
you know, for the little bit older ones. But, oh, and I also, I got one more over there, but I got that one. They, someone cut the handles off, so I'm just going to use that here for a DIY. But anyways, we spent, um, I want to say a total of like, I think that's everything. Oh, no, wait, I take it back. Hold on, I got a couple more things. All right, here they are. I got a set of three of these tarnished silver uh, candlestick holders for Christmas, and I just love them. So... These, I don't know, I haven't looked them up yet. I can't decide if they're going to be in a live sale a little more towards Christmas time because right now people are like wanting Halloween and fall. So that's what I'm trying to find. Um, or I'm going to stick them in my eBay store. And the eBay store and, and uh, the live sale information, all that is in the description down below if you guys are interested in any of that. Then I found two of these hard plastic um, snowman, I was going to say Halloween, <laughs> snowman Christmas lights. So I grabbed two of those. And then this is a giant like um, candle holder. What is it like Saltkin? It's Homeworks. Yeah, homework, something like that. And it fits those giant like even bigger than a Bath and Body Works candle, like those really big candles. Uh, this particular one, there's ones of these that have different like just fall leaves. This one has sunflowers and pumpkins and stuff. Um, these go, oh my gosh, they did really well. These go anywhere between like 40 and $70, depending on the, um, the subject matter here. Cause like I said, some of them are just fall leaves. This one happens to have corn and all kinds of stuff. It does have a little gold wear. So I will drop my price a little cause I believe there's one listed for about $70. So I'll drop my price, um, you know, to match the, uh, little bit of wear that this has. And see how that, that goes. That one's uh, listed in eBay, in our eBay store right now, actually. Aaron just listed that today. But anyways, that is everything that we ended up getting in our thrift trip. I hope you guys enjoyed. We ended up spending about $67, I think, for all the stuff you see here. So not too bad. Hopefully, we can turn it into a profit, you know, God willing, but... Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite item is here. You can leave the, the comments down below. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And I'll talk to you guys in another video. Bye.